is ranked as the fourth major producer of aquaculture in Africa. However, freshwater aquaculture including breeding, rearing and harvesting of plants and animals in all types of water environments has in the recent past registered depressed performance despite its potential capacity of up to 11 million tons per year. The reduction of total fresh water output dropping by 19.8% from 18.7 tons in the year 2015 to 14.9 tons in 2016 has been attributed to many factors, among which lack of the technical know-how of fish farming is key. In the heart of Matasia in Gong lies just what might be the game changer for farmers locally and internationally. We met up with Hezron Munga of Aquaflow Technologies to find out just what is the next phase for fish farmers across Kenya. This idea came up when uh, the government back in 2009 came up with what was called the Economic Stimulus, Stimulus Program. And uh, the government, what, what it was basically doing was to try and intensify fish production by helping farmers put up fish ponds. However, uh, what we did is that as a company, one of our directors invested in, in the fish pond farming, but it actually never worked. And so he embarked on a research to find out why did the fish pond farming uh, never work in form of, um, uh, I mean, did not, it was not productive in terms of producing fish. So that's how the, the system, how the system came about. The journey of intense research for the two partners has not been easy. It has been filled with sweat and a desk full of papers to find out this crucial element in fish production. Thus, they set out to start the demo farm to find out if the method would work. This is our place. We've put, we put up this as a demo, demo uh, demonstration so that the farmers who are interested in acquiring our system can be able to come and have a look at it and be able to see what we are doing and then from there they can be able to make a decision of whether they want to invest in, 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 in the system. So ideally this was a system that we put as a demo. Yeah. We fully own it as a company and it's actually operational. We are on our third month running. Yeah, so we have actually a number of fish that we, we, are, we are raising here. Yeah. So what we did is that we developed yeah, what is called now called the recirculation aquaculture system. That one, you intensify fish production. As you can see from, from the back, we have a number of tanks that we grow the fish in. This tank is about 10,000 liters and it's able to grow 2,000 fish. One of, one of this tank is able to hold a stock of 2,000 tilapia fish. Um, and within a very small area, as you can see, this greenhouse is about 8 by 15 meters. You are able to stock six tanks, effectively meaning that you can, you can, you can be able to grow, to raise 12,000 fish in this small area. So one of the areas, our main, actually our very main objective was to intensify fish production and also to commercialize fish production. True enough, it would indeed work, but this does not take away the importance of knowing the current fish breeds in the market, how to tell which is a good breed or not, the fish production, and what one can do in the system. For this system, we keep two types of fish. We keep tilapia and catfish, and that's what we are recommending farmers to be able to invest in. Because again, it is also being addressed by the market. Uh, well, tilapia is able to grow in clean, fresh water. And that's what we're basically being able to do. Our, our system is able to provide a very clean environment for an ecosystem where that, uh, where the water is clean, it's highly aerated, and you find that tilapia grows, grows, grows. It's, it's, it's comfortable in that kind of an environment. Secondly, even uh, because of the same uh, environment that we've been able to provide, you find catfish does very well. Now, this with this system, you cannot grow other type of fish, say like salmon or. Or, or Nile patch because it's not it's not conducive for for such. Yeah, so it's basically able to support only tilapia and catfish. So.
So within a, a plot of say of an eighth, you're able to do double of that. And essentially you're able, on an eighth of a plot, you're able to raise 24,000 fish. Now that's, 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 that's astronomical. Because when you look at an ordinary size of a pond, a pond measures about uh, 50 by, say about 30 by 40 feet. Now, that's almost a size of an eighth of an, of, of an acre, right? And with that pond, you're only able to raise 1,000 fish. Actually, if you're able to stock more than that, you're overstocking that pond. And fish cannot be able to thrive in that kind of an ecosystem. So what we're basically doing is economizing space. Yeah. Uh, and number two is in terms of money. We'll soon be harvesting this fish. Yeah. And with this system, we'll be raising, we'll be making about close to 3 million shillings from from, from, from the, the sale that we, we make from here. So in, one, in terms of economizing uh, space, two, in terms of the economic benefits, in terms of the money that I'm making from this investment. Number three, this system is very easy to manage. Or you just, it's a, it's a self-maintaining system. You don't need to, to be here to clean up the system or to do what. All, all you just need to do is feed the fish and the system is able to clean itself. Yeah, so in terms of labor, there's a huge labor saving. For the feeds, yes, we are getting them from local manufacturers for, for the tilapia. We have some local manufacturers who have come up with very good feed that is highly nutritional value. Uh, for the catfish, we have not yet been able to get uh, a local product manufacturer, but we have sellers who are ex exporters who are exporting from, from other countries, say so from Israel, from Egypt, uh, from the Netherlands, uh, that we buy from. So actually, that is something we also need to really look at in terms of how do we start producing fruit locally that is um, cost effective. Because some of these fruits, especially like the, exported, the imported fish, it's, it's, it's really, really expensive, which makes the cost of production really go up. Now, our system is basically trying to address one of the problems that we're experiencing in Kenya. Now, the fish demand in Kenya is increasing by day. Currently, based on the statistics that we've gotten from the, from the Kenya Bureau of Standards, is that the per capita consumption of fish per person per annum is five kilograms. Now, if you take an average of, say, 50% of Kenyans eat fish annually, so that basically translates to about 16 million kilograms, right? And, no, actually it translates to about a demand of 100 million kilograms of fish annually. However, the current, the current production, and this is data that we've gotten from, from the government, is that Kenya is only able to produce an average of 16 million kilograms annually. So that essentially means there's a deficit of 84 million kilograms of fish, which we need to find ways on how we can be able to bridge that gap, right? So one of the things that we are actually trying to do as a company is to encourage people to buy the system so that they can be able to, to, to plug in and start also producing fish so that we can be able to bridge that gap. According to me, what is causing the gap is basically um, we cannot rely on, on the fish from the lake. Ideally, Kenyan, traditionally we've, we've, we've been getting fish from from the rivers, you know, to from the lakes. And our lakes are actually becoming depleted because of the high fishing that is happening. And so you find people are fishing the young, the, the young fish that is there, and so it's not able to be able to, to reproduce and be able to produce more. Two, um, the government actually came up with what's called the Economic Stimulus Program. Uh, but that has not been able to, to, to address the, the and, and, and it was trying to bridge the gap by encouraging people to put out the ponds. But now the ponds have certain problems that, that I had enumerated that are actually hindering the production of fish. So we have to find new ways and new means and new methods and technologies of being able to grow fish, like what we have done here, to be able to address all those problems that we have.